I'll just say, the Monica Nation are the people in this room, they're the people on Zoom, there's not attendance, they're the people that don't even know this meeting's going on. They're the 2,800 enrolled citizens in the Monica Indian Nation. This government, both sides, are supposed to represent those people and the power delegated authority of a representative, council, a chief, is delegated by the people, period. That's not 35 people. We would like it to be, you know, inclusive of everyone. That is the goal. The way that that is done, that delegation of authority is granted through what do we do for federal recognition? We turn in a set of bylaws that the government was supposed to follow, is supposed to follow, must follow, because that authority in those bylaws is delegated by the people. The agreement of council, the chief, of every person's staff is supposed to follow those bylaws. The 2013 bylaws, I wanna ask one question. Is there anywhere in the 2013 bylaws that allowed any disenrollment for any reason? We've heard Mr. Branham say it, there was acts of treason, uh, people tried to remove him. Mr. Branham removed a council. Was that treason? Not up for debate. But let me ask you, Mr. Branham, Teresa Pollock, Dean, is there any verbiage in the 2013 bylaws that allowed suspension of a tribal citizen or the attempted disenrollment. Is there that language there? I don't see it. There, there is not. So we can agree that there is not language in the 2013 bylaws to disenroll or suspend anyone. So we can agree then that you do not have authority because the authority of council is delegated by the people through those bylaws. I would like to just speak, I did not I, I know, I, I understand that, I understand. I'm just going to the point of the bylaws are the governing document, and that's how officials get their authority. They cannot subvert that, they cannot circumvent that authority, they cannot supersede that authority. Yeah, Melissa. I just have a question to Dean. Dean, I know at one time you really... Hold on. Dean, I know at one time you really tried to pull the tribe together. You met opposition for trying to do that. Put the mic up. Do you agree with this enrollment? Is that something you wish hadn't happened? How? Are, what are your feelings truly about disenrolling any Monacan citizen? I was not part of the suspension, and I will stand here. I will tell you. I will tell by. Yes, I was part of that disenrollment for starting their own, their own government. I thought it was bad. But no one was starting a government. 